In this video, we will work on the drop down as you see it here inside our application. In the previous video, we style our tabs with icons and added some custom CSS to make it like this. So, what you are going to work now is a drop down when you hover your mouse or when you click on this button, you see a drop down as compared to the final project. So let's get started. So what you are going to make use is called menu component in Material UI. So let's search for menu, menu and see the functionalities that we need inside our application right now. So let me head over to menus, okay, and scroll down. And let's look at the demo. When I click it on this menu, as you can see, some pop-ups and you can mix a lot of things with it using this menu functionalities inside Material UI. And the same thing applies to this. So what we are going to make use is the, this one, simple menu. So let's look at the code, how it works. So anytime you click something and you see some change, it means that you are managing what states inside that application, that project or component. So what you are going to do is that you have to create a state called anchor the anchor will tell you where it's going to position okay and by default it's now because by default where is, is this uh, drop down or menu being displaced it's now right so you have to create a function called handle click and then we change whatever we click on it you see we click on this let's see where they use this handle click this handle click was used on this button okay and this button accepts one prop call on click when you click on this one it will change the position of this one to the current click where we, we did it so this we are going to use it inside our application so let's get started so let's go back to our application and the navbar okay here navbar here let's scroll down and below the app bar because it is not part of the um menu is different from what we are going to do it so here we are going to create below this and inside my react fragment let's create let's import menu from material ui okay like that so let's see whether i have the auto import above here it doesn't work for me sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work so i have my menu here so inside my menu i'm going to place in my menu items okay so let's add one menu item let me see if i have the auto import thing this time around it works right so the first one is called the account my account this one called my account right so uh, when you go back to the application you see when you hover something it doesn't show and this text is not even showing in any way right it's how material ui works so unless you trigger some function to display this um, component we just used so where can we do that the event will occur on this button so i have to go back to this button and pass in some props all right that will change the, the position of this menu and display it under my profile right so let's get started remember because we are managing states we have to import use state i think we already have it up there let me check yeah we have it so let's create one use state here where is it here and let me call this one anchor okay the anchor element will tell you where is the menu going to be positioned. Let me make this one capital letter and by default it's now as that. So let me push this one up to have my all my hooks up there like that. So let's create one function okay called handle menu handle open menu. So const okay handle handle 
open menu and this takes in events I can be have on one line I can ignore the bracket take in my menu and then set anchor to my current target that's e dot target dot e dot current target okay that is what what it means is that when you click on an element it tells you which element was click and our target is on what on this button or is it this profile button this is our target so when you click on this one we have this button being target so that's where we're going to what fire the event so on the button what we are going to pass in to have access to that is called on mouse hover I should remember when I hover my mouse to my final project as you can see I don't click when I do mouse hover then it shows the drop down so let's do that one so here on this button I will say on mouse hover as the name implies when you hover your mouse 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 over sorry mouse over like that when you hover your mouse over the button you want to have an event being triggered called handle open menu like that and next is now you know where you are going to fire the event to okay so the most important property now is that when you fire this event how are you going to determine that you should open the menu here this one that brings us to another property called area controls okay and you give it a property so here this area control will look at the area property okay that is a area control I'm making control here. where is it area controls and I'll make my menu you can make it whatever you want even a or B but remember the value name which menu right now I have it so I'll go back to my menu and then also assign this one this this value to that so that it will know that when I click on this one it should open that all right so I have to pass in the ID so here is ID so for this ID for this ID we have to have access to the menu we pass into the control as that so now let's go back to application this something when I hover my mouse nothing happens because this menu also accepts some props we need to pass in the first one is the anchor okay the first one is the anchor the anchor means that where is it going to be positioned be pushing position as what at the current point or where the event was triggered and that event we can get that value from anchor elements remember here when we set the event it, it means that you are targeting the current click element which is a button and you assign the value to that so that current target is what is going to be passed to the anchor property here where is it here as and the current element it was clicked and the next one is a boolean is it open if you make it true or false let me make it true by default go back to application as you can see it's what open by default right as you can see there so if you make it false false save it it's gone make it true so we have to find a way to toggle open and close so let's have it open as it stands now so what we are going to do next is to pass in um, on close but as you can see it looks ugly now so what um, we are going to pass into this value is not uh, this hard-coded one right we have to pass in what is called a boolean okay that boolean will convert remember you want, we want to make use of now we can make here out as true right but true here but in our state we don't have that way of what true value here 
soon but we have what is called now which is the anchor element here so we want to convert this one to true and javascript give us a nice api called boolean okay so let's go back here so inside my open i'll make use of javascript api called boolean all right and then i'll pass in my anchor element this anchor element is by default now but when i click on the button it's not now again right so it convert this one when it is now it means false when it's not now it's what true so boolean will convert the now property to true or false as simple as that so as you can see we have it open as it stands all right so next one is called on close so on close when i close when i click on this button i have to what when i hover my mouse away it should be what close as you can see it's always what open as soon as i hover my mouse as you can see it's always open but when i hover my mouse out it doesn't close so i have to find a way of what closing that and that also brings us to another function called handle menu close so here let me bring it here const as handle handle menu close also a function and all what this function is going to do it will set my anchor to now that is it but so it's first now so come back to the component my menu component and then for on close for on close i'm going to pass in handle close menu all these props are coming from material ui right so you have to know where you are getting these props from so handle close handle menu close as that so let's go back again and as we move our mouse again as you can see it goes like that okay so let's let's continue and pass in the props we need again so when i click on this one when i click on this one i want to remove it okay when i click you see that i don't see that it's still there so you have to pass in on click okay and then for on click it will pass in this handle close because when you click on that which is on click and then you pass in handle close menu handle menu close when i click on it as you can see it's gone but always come when i click it comes back again so let's see what is wrong right now okay because when i click on it my mouse also hover on it that is why it's working that way so instead of um let me change this one to we come back to that make this one on click okay so that we have we develop it in a simple way when i click on it when i click on it it goes click on it it goes click on it it goes as that so let's continue so let's add more menu to the midst so right now we have um only one which is what's my menu one here i will have uh, my account so let's continue to add more into the midst so let's copy this one and then cut paste it six times right because we have my account next one is examination result examination examination result and then next one is is what promotions i don't know why i got these names from but you can make it you can change it to see it what how you want it and next one is called pending fees okay <laughs> pending fees and the last one will be final projects as a final year student final projects for your graduation so let's see when i click on it as you can see we have a nice beautiful one but it's not started yet don't worry you will, what you want is a functionality as you can see when you click on it you can see this nice drop down so this is how 
we work with style and menus in Material UI. So in the next lesson, we work on this menu as compared to the final one. When I click on this one, as you can see, it's below my it's below my button. So we add some style to push the button below it. Okay, so let's get that one done. I think it's really simple that so you have to use a custom CSS to do that, or we can have inline CSS as well. So on this menu, we can add we can add a style inline style from Java JS, and we can have margin top. Let me push down to 50 pixels. Let's see. When you click on it, as you can see, we have it as that. All right. So, guys, that is how we create drop down inside Material UI. We will still work on the style as well.